What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of The Ramble. Look at my lovely co-host today, Smelly Jelly. Don't ask what's smelly. <laughs> it's underneath her belly. <laughs> I'm going to start a whole new jingle oh every single God. time. Y'all, so we, uh, y'all, we're filming on a Sunday, which is new for us because it's currently Pride, and we're going to go out after this and hit the streets, so... Yep. We're going to celebrate the gays, which, by the way, I'm really confused because wasn't Pride, like, June, and then now it's May, but then it was in August. Like, I'm so lost right now. Yeah. I'm confused. But, hey, anytime I can celebrate, I'm going to celebrate, okay? Period. I like to have any type of reason to drink because then I feel like nobody can judge us, you know? If we're celebrating. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm celebrating every day. Right. I'm, I'm glad to be alive. Every drink is a celebration. Um, she is freshly back from Utah. I am. Do you want to tell us about that before we jump into today's episode? Where do I start? Did you have a good time? Yeah, pretty. Okay, so I flew to Utah on, on Wednesday. I was in a mansion with 13 groomsmen and nine. There was that many people in the house? Not, they could house 34 people. I mean, I know the house was big, but I was humongous. like. It was humongous. It was humongous. It was beautiful. She FaceTimed me and there was a water fountain. There's a water fountain in a the house. A water fountain in yeah, the house. The, I was like, was oh my God. Free. There was a drawer you open and it's full of crushed ice. Full of crushed ice. And you just scoop your ice out. In the fridge, though? There's a just drawer you pull out. Like, Not in the fridge. connected to the fridge. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I I've was seen there. that before. I thought it was a whole different And all thing. the boys were like, know each other from a fraternity. So that was a vibe. Please tell me why she had to walk down the aisle with a guy that I went to school with. Oh, that was the, the practice, but I ended up having to walk with some girl's uh, man. Yeah, but during the with practice. With some girl's man. She was there, too, because Steph had an order, and, oh, and he had an order. Uh, and so I have, you know, baby girl, I was number four. It was her sister, his sister, her elementary best friend, and me. And then there was nine other, and then there was five girls after me. Oh, so she started off with like the one she hates the most, and then to the one she likes the <laughs> most, right? <laughs> but it was good times, ma'am. I I let these bitches see who really is crazy. Um, girl, oh, because uh, this is your first time being around them. Yeah, I Not never. Steph. Came, I'm all, Steph knows no, that Steph you're knows, crazy. Steph knows. But I was, like, around them, and, like, I was nervous because, like, I knew them, but I was never, like, kicking it with them like yeah. that. And I was sleeping in a room with them, with four girls. Wait, I thought you were sharing the room with two. Four. There was four of us. It was called the orphan room. Oh it was for everyone who was God. without someone. <laughs> we had a ball, though. Did you hook up with any other girls? Uh, no, I didn't do anything bad. Oh. Man, I, mean, I wish I did, but no, I didn't. Really? Mm -hmm. And it was just the four of you? Up were they boring? No. Did they drink? Yeah, some of them did. We got lit on. We went to a bar. Girl. What? We went to a bar. Mind you, this first day, they were giving me all this tequila. I'm not a tequila drinker. Ooh. Girl, I was. I remember taking more than like seven shots. And I remember a lot until the end, it got blurry. And like, we were at this little bar. It looked crazy. And it was a lot of us. It was like 13 of us that rolled in there. And everyone. Just was, the girls? Or? No, it was guys too. Oh. Like, it was a group of us. And there was this fool, like, I was sitting with my back towards him, and everyone's right here. And he was, like, older, probably, like, 40, middle-aged 40. He looked, like, like washed up. He had little tattoos on his face. In Utah? Yeah, yeah. So then I'm sitting there, and he's trying to talk to me. So then I, like, start talking to him, whatever. And he's like, oh, I'm from San Diego. He was, like, SD here. And I was like, oh, okay. You should have said, does that sound for suck dick? This <laughs> <laughs> is for so dumb. <laughs> and... So then, like, he was, like, annoying, and then he was, like, following us. He, I like, got annoying. And then my homegirl, he had a ring on. She was, like, something you shouldn't be talking to her. Well, about. you guys were probably, like, the hottest bitches that he's yeah, seen in like, Utah. We were all with our titties out and shit. Oh. Like, you know, we're all drunk. And and he, I don't know how, but he ended up calling me fat. Like, Why did he call you fat? Because she was, like, stop talking to her. Like, you're annoying. Like, he, oh, one so girl, girl was saying that. Oh. And he had a ring. Like, And he was, like, I'm not trying to talk to her. She's fat. Girl, <gasps> my neck turned like a motherfucking owl. The whole thing is, is why, you, first of all, that's how you know you're an insecure man that you feel the need to call somebody fat. You could have simply just especially, said, I'm not trying to talk to her. And then especially such a triggering word. Like, yeah. me, me, girl, I don't care. I yeah. don't care. It wasn't that. My, my point was, you're so mad that I rejected but you. But you knew his intent behind using that word. Yeah. And I was like, Ma'am, if I want you, I could have you. I don't care. What you yeah. Think but and then, ma'am, so I got in in front of all these people that I barely know. I got in a fight with this man. I said, fuck you, you washed up fucking low life gangster wannabe in front of all these. The bar's like a shoebox, bitch. I'm loud as fuck. Every, everybody's watching me. 
Oh my god, nobody recorded it. Mm-hmm. You I, know, you know, my ass would have been there. <laughs> no, and I was like, just I was like, just degrading him, like fuck you, fucking bum, like I'll maybe fuck. he was into like, that. Though. I don't know. I was going off, and Eddie Steph's man was like, shut up, Angelica. Like, why I, is he telling you to shut up? Because He's the one I, that started I wouldn't, it. I wouldn't stop. Oh, I wouldn't stop. Oh, I, you know, yeah. okay. And Never like, mind. I know <laughs> no, that. Yeah. I know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Hey, okay. once you get this bitch going, God I, and I damn. Was like, dude, I didn't start it. I was like, I didn't start it. But one thing is like, like you're you're mad because we, I'm not paying mind to you, so you want to insult me. Yeah, it's not happening because now I'm gonna insult you in front of everybody. Yeah, only me and you knew I called you called me fat. Yeah, well, that was us. Well, the Every, girls didn't hear. Or? Only one girl, but I don't. Uh, I just, ma'am, I went off and eddie was like shut the fuck up because i was not listening to him mm. i was like move like you know i kept going kept going right and so finally he was like and hey, jaga shut the fuck up and i was like all right and i just stayed quiet so the next day the big joke was like oh eddie needed to talk to me like that like uh, and then another bitch from behind the bar like a stranger was like Ooh. bitch i'm surprised you even listened to him like that because one time i screamed at you to shut I the know. fuck up and you still kept and going these, oh, and, and he's little one of these old women came and she was like oh he could talk to me like that <laughs> And Eddie was like, I've never had to talk to a woman like that. I was like, Eddie, because I don't. I don't was mind. like, Eddie, I'm more I'm masculine than you. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, I'm more masculine than you. But they, they were all clowning. We're well, not clowning, but they were like, oh, don't fuck with her. She's from the hood. But I was like, bitch, I didn't start it. Like, yeah. yes, I went overboard, but I was drunk. But-, but did you let them all know that this man felt the need to call you fat? Oh, yeah. I was like, he called okay. me. Because everyone was like, what happened? I was like, oh, he got mad that I wasn't feeding into it. And he called me fat. And that's why I was like, bitch, fuck you and your mother. Fuck I fucking, you. I hate that. Like, yeah. Men always result and to honestly, an insult. And honestly, most times I would have ignored it. I would have been like, fuck but you. Cause you're tipsy. But it's because you were tipsy. I was lit. Yeah. I was lit. So then the next day I was like, let me be a good girl. But I was still a little wild. Like, yeah. you know, I was well, telling them some of my them, crazy stories and shit. She, yeah. um, you know, was like sending me pictures and whatnot I saw. And I was like, honestly, I feel like it, like, first of all, kudos to you because I couldn't put myself in that situation. Luckily, the, the chicks were like, we had fun. It, they were like, and it was so cool because I don't know them like that. But I had, was able to let loose and be myself. Yeah. Like, and it was fun. Like all weekend, I, they were allowed saying ma'am and baby girl. All weekend. <laughs> all weekend. That was the joke. Damn. I start all the trends know. over here. <laughs> she, you know, my brother says that all the goddamn says, time. baby girl? To everyone no, now. I'm like. So then they, all the girls are calling the guys baby girl, and they're, like, making fun. It was so funny. Oh, I had fun. I had fun. The wedding was so fun. It was so beautiful. It looked really nice. It was, I, when I showed up, I was like, oh, my gosh. The I don't views. know why everyone and their mom loves weddings, you know? Like, people be like, I hate weddings only for the fact. Like, of course, I, I love the celebration. I don't them often. I've only, I've only probably been to, like, five or six. But my whole thing is I hate to feel the need to have to dress up because yeah. I don't own nice now, clothes. The sun was, like, burning on her face. Was yeah. it hot? No, we we were just standing in the sun when it was time to like be up front. Oh, girl, no. was your makeup melting off? No, I was okay. My feet were dying. Really, in them chunky ass heels? I had sandals. Yeah, I don't know, it, but all the girls were. So I was like, oh, okay, uh, cool. Like something about it. And damn. so I had sandals, and as soon as I got to, I went. As soon as the pictures were done. Yeah, uh, I ran and put them slides on. Don't play. Uh, and we dance, girl. I danced so much. I know really? your shit. I was at the open bar and I was just I'm dancing. Old, did, I know she had a photographer, but did she have a videographer? Yeah, yeah. I want to see that motherfucking video, yeah. girl. I'm all. We gonna we gonna show y'all. And he was young too. I was all chopping it up with him. He was like 22. He was from Utah, a little white kid. Really? I was asking. You were talking. It, yeah. Wow. They, they, it's, they were so nice. Like all the people and the bitches that did our hair and makeup were so great. I hear a lot of the people over there are really, really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, I have to say, like, girl. have you watched um, Salt Lake City? Um, like a pieces of it. Remember? You need to watch that girl. The, I, did, I don't think you realize, like, I the the girls were telling me, and they look like they had it all together. The girls, they would look like top chick girls. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. She was like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, Instagram people here. Like, you go somewhere and it's just like all these moms that are like Instagram mom from oh. neutral colors. She was like, that's really big here. She was like, breast implants are huge here, lashes, nails. I was like, that's crazy. Jelly was have... just telling me that supposedly Utah is the what like is the it most uh, plastic surgery in America. So like, what does that mean though? Like the most people have yeah. And so I'm there? asking her. I was like, well, what do they get here? And she's like, you know, boobs, face. And I was like, not like a... so they don't get butts here. And she's like, no, that's not a thing. She was like, they just get all the cosmetic and the boobs. And oh. mommy makeovers are big. I would imagine California to be the number one plastic same, surgery. Same, 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 same. Like, what would be a And the house quality? telling Tim, like, the neighborhood we were in, the houses, because it's just land. You've seen the mountain. I yeah. Had, it was just mountains and mountains and land, and they were building some of the most humongous houses ever. I'm so sorry to get off on a tangent here, but just because you said land, 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 every single road trip, because I've, I've been to Utah before a few times, Wyoming, all that, like, mm-hmm. driving up Idaho, all these places, 
I hate that everyone pushes this whole, oh, we're overpopulated in the world. No, we're not. You see how much land is out there? Yeah. There is so much land for us to live in. Yeah. Why do they say that we're overpopulated? But they were building, like, there was a lot of building. The horses, you just walk the horses and cows oh. everywhere. It was beautiful. I don't know if I could live there. Because it's so, it's so different. But I would have to live in a mansion like that if I lived there. Yeah. She, she was all talking about, like, she had to take an Uber back to the airport. And I was like, bitch, take a horse. The fuck? Literally. Ride a horse back to the airport. I did. I had an Uber. I was all because the lift couldn't find me. I had to cancel my lift because it wouldn't recognize it. Just the, we were uh, like up, up in, the in cut. there. They needed a gate code to get on the property. Oh, yeah. I like that. So I had to end it up. The Uber did come get me early. Oh my god! And I was a big girl. I flew alone and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This was your. Oh no, this is your second time flying alone. Oh no, first time. I flew there alone and. Oh, well, well they well, were on my I flight, in, but they were like nowhere near me. Uh, and then on the way back, I was legit by myself. Oh, good for you. I know. I took my ass to the airport. Look at her. I my she, gate. She's a big Even girl. Even in the Provo, Utah, there's four gates. I don't know why I first I heard gays at first, and I'm like, gates. <laughs> gates. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, gays? Really? Yeah. I wouldn't imagine there would be any gays. On the there. way there was a lot of gates. I was like, oh, I'm a little nervous. Yeah. But I did it. Well, congratulations to Steph and Eddie. It was beautiful. Even though Steph I don't I don't really know Eddie. I think I met him one time, and he was lit, so he offered me a shot. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, he offered me a Jaeger bomb. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Honestly, he's, he's a little different, but he's a very nice guy. He makes you, I, I was making him take selfies with me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was, uh, bitch, I was drunk. Oh, man. But, but we were all, we were Would all, I ever doubt that? We Come on. Okay. I was uh, having fun. Can we get into, <laughs> change the topics here real fast? What? Because I'm sitting here playing with this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all, we went to a show um kill tony tony. which okay briefly first of all just gonna tell you guys um look kill tony is definitely not for everybody um there's some really dark humor going on up in there and i love it i'm sorry i was a huge fan i had a blast Mm -hmm. i i literally came back i told my parents i was like oh i want you guys to go i want my little brother to go this is all our type of humor we fucking love it and it was a really really good time the one (laughs) thing that i was pissed about and i'm gonna be honest i was Pissed. Yeah. They make you lock your phones up in these little bags. Mm-hmm. And how this ended up in her purse, I don't know. I don't know. But we have a souvenir. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It was open when I kept it, and I accidentally shut it. Yeah, so you need and a magnet. It's closed. But you could do it with a magnet. I saw them using a magnet. Yeah. You know, like how they do the at the clothing? Ones. Yes, the, it unlocks oh, okay, it. Oh, yeah. But it's like a little pa- a pouch, and you yes. slid your phone. But we were like, hey, Siri. And she was not. Siri there wasn't, yet. yeah. Siri lock wasn't your phones working. Up. And then you keep it until you leave. And then yes. you'll get your phone. So we kept it to show y'all. I am so sorry, but I, I didn't like that. Only because, I guess apparently because he doesn't, like, he films the episodes there, but then they don't go up until three weeks later. But, like, you were allowed to have your phone, and then that went on to Netflix. On Netflix. So just mm-hmm. think about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if, if the roast was literally um, publicized, and it's, like, being really, it's, like, one of the, well, yesterday I was looking, and it's one of the top, top ten watched um, oh, on shows on Netflix right now. It's good. And you guys were allowed to have your phone there. Yeah, so. Oh, they I'm told not... you like oh try not to use your phone but you had it but you had it mm-hmm. we couldn't even we didn't even know the time we didn't know the oh, time no, no, no. we couldn't take one selfie literally we not one we couldn't find any areas to unlock them cuz usually they say they have unlocking areas yeah we can't find them i was i was like damn this is a little bit different but i guess it did teach us to like be in the moment i guess we yeah had... it was fun it was, it was really fun though. We were sitting next to a very peculiar man. He was chewing on tobacco the whole entire time. He had a tall can of Modelo and he took off the whole fucking fucking beaver. Like what the hell? I was like, how did he do that? By yeah. the way, though, he ripped the whole top like of his can was part. off. Yes, and he was just spitting his damn tobacco in there. And I was like, it's kind of crazy. He looked like the type to like this dark humor, and he didn't really laugh much. He was like. I don't know. I'm like, how did he get the top of that metal can off? That is dangerous. Right? You would slice your finger. Speaking so, of. Oh, yeah. Look, we're trying new drinks finally. Oh, yeah. Finally. These are. I just realized right now what? that this has five grams of carbs. It's... The normal ones only have two. What is this pack called? It's right there. Um, it's the red. It's something red, white, and blue. I can't see it from here. Oh, it's like an, um, but y'all, it's basically for like Fourth of July, and it so has a cotton, cotton candy, candy, and then it has um, lemon ice, lemon blue, ice, cherry pop, and blue raz. Blue raz. Yeah. So we're gonna be trying these today. So this cotton candy, it's, it's not bad. It's it's not. They my weren't favorite. cold, cold. So we'll give it that. We'll have, try it again. It's, also, I don't like though that it's 110 calories and it has five grams of carbs. I really like the two grams of carbs and I like this? the hundred calories. Here's a le- this is a lemon one. Is that 110? Three also? carbs. Oh, okay. 100 calories. Oh, see, better. Oh, okay. 
Well, I thought that this one would be too sweet. Y'all know I don't like my sweet drinks, but it's not too sweet. It's, not. it's just it's subtle, subtle, it's subtle. It's different. It's different for sure, but it's cotton candy, truly. Yeah, my oh. boobs are sweating again. Yep, there goes the sweat line. Love that. One day I'll get rid of my boobs. Um. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into our yucks or yums. Our yucks or yums. We yucks and yums. Yeah, I was like, I have both. <laughs> <laughs> um. Go ahead and start off. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I, don't, I didn't write it down. It's in my head. My yuck is going to be, so I came home last, yesterday morning, I got in at 9 a.m., and then um, later the day, my son's screaming, and I go, and he sliced his finger open on broken glass, so we spent six hours in the ER last night, so he can get stitches. Right when you got back from Utah. Right when I got back from Utah. I literally had all my laundry, and I was, like, sitting there folding, and I hear him scream, Mom! And I go in the bathroom, and there's, like, blood everywhere, and I was like, oh, my God, my heart dropped. He had a towel over it, and then like I go like I was telling you, I go. At least he was smart enough to put a towel on it. Yeah, right oh, yeah. Away. And he's like standing there butt naked because he was in the shower. <laughs> yeah. And the window broke, and he was trying to mess with it, I guess, and he sliced it, so he sl- like a flap of his skin back. So we spent six hours yesterday. We l- we got home like at midnight. Damn. At the hospital, we were so I hadn't ate anything. I was so worried. I thought I thought I parked in like tollway parking, so I was stressed the whole time. And when you were there, like, they didn't offer, like, food for him, at least? No. Really? We, luckily, we were in, like, the main waiting room, which was so gross, because, I'm sorry, some of the grossest people aren't in the ER waiting room. Yeah. Like, because... A lot of crackheads. Yes. Did you go to Long Beach Memorial? Girl, I've been yeah. there before. Girl. And so, luckily... If y'all been to Long Beach Memorial, y'all we know what's the, up. We were there for a minute, and then they did his vitals, and he got an x-ray, and then they sent us there to wait again, and then we got called with a group of kids to a pediatrics, and it was like a Pixar waiting room. Especially because it was Saturday. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's probably why I was so damn so busy. So, we, we had to watch... We watched all of Luca, and then damn. we watched about half of Buzz Lightyear. So, you're promoting gay stuff to and your then, kids? And <laughs> then... Watching Luca? I know, right? Really? And just as like, Luca! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny is I was like, these are two little kids, and everyone just ran with this narrative of that. I don't know their names, but that they had a thing for each other. I was mm-hmm. like, they're little kids, you they fucking weirdo. Friends. Yes, I'm yeah, like, they yeah, I'm like, and damn. They, they finally went back there, and he ended up having to get six stitches. And I was so scared because he was crying. And I was, did they say how long it has to be in? Um, just like five days. So I gotta Shut take, the fuck up. Yeah. Only five days. Mm-hmm. When I got my stitches, I had to have them in for like three weeks. No, she's so far. And then his. Oh, maybe because it depends upon the depth. His fingers. It's his right hand, but his pinky's all wrapped. She wrapped it all like in tens, and he's like, oh, he's all, he's all the same. It is not. Yeah, he's like, and he can't write. And so then he also can't box because he oh, had his gloves on. Oh yeah, that's right. So, oh, he's probably not gonna be able to box for a while then, huh? I was like, oh, you can do. I was like, no, you can spar with no gloves. I told him. I said, we're still going, ma'am. Oh, you're I like, paid, I paid for I paid this. Big money Use your left you. hand. I was like, no, you're still gonna play. Yeah. But that was my yeah. Uh, that was the first time my baby ever had stitches. Hey, not too bad. Yeah, he's gonna be ten. That was the first time. Yeah. He was like, oh, this is so boring. I'm sorry, mom. I was like, well, I know it's an accident. How's that, cherry pop? How is it? It tastes familiar. Okay. Oh, it's bothering me that it tastes like something that I that I know, but I can't put my finger on it. You know what I mean? Like, remind me to. It's uh, it's it's okay. It tastes more sweet than the cotton candy, actually. It's more sweet. It's more sweet. Yeah, okay. it is. Um. Oh, and this one's three grams also. How funny! Only what? So cotton candy is the one with the most carbs. Oh my god, this is bothering me. It tastes like something. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Mmm. It's okay. It, it it it's like it'll, it'll be a little bit too tart, so it's gonna leave my ice. breath stinking. I think I'll like lemon ice. I feel like I would like that. That's good. Oh, I see. I felt like that one would be it's my good. favorite. It's cold and it's just fresh. Good. It's like lemon water. Dude, so how was your mom? I didn't even ask you how was your mom about Josiah. Like, was she like freaking the fuck well, out? Well, like I'm sitting there, and the cut wasn't that bad at first. It just wouldn't stop bleeding. Yeah. So then I'm like. Do so I ended up taking him because I was like it's not like it was a flap of skin I was like it's not gonna heal on its own like, yeah. properly like it has to be yeah so my mom was like FaceTiming me kept calling me I was like you know damn well we have to wait yeah like it's the ER we're waiting it's so crazy and I've always said that before I'm like I wonder how they like uh sit here and determine who has the more severe well like i seen a guy well because we're sitting there and i'm texting you and there was like a guy with his whole arm cut up and he had like dry blood all over and he was waiting i was like oh we're, we're gonna wait too but then a guy walked in and everybody like was panicking when he walked in his hand like he cut the shit out of his hand and they took him to the back immediately oh okay. but 
Girl. They sent him back out. Yes, just rap, oh, just rap better. God. Like, just rap better. But I'm assuming they had to do x-rays on, because even for just side finger, they want to make sure that he didn't get Cut leave glass inside. in it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So they did an x-ray. And then just, the guy said, take sending them there and get the results back. Takes more than 30 minutes. Damn. It's just waiting, girl. When she had to order the medicine to numb his finger, it took like 30 minutes. Oh, girl. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then even Allie used to work in the ER hospital, so she would tell me like all the bullshit. Did I tell you that I had a friend who worked in the ER and uh, at Long Beach Memorial, ironically enough, and he had to take a nail out of a man's ball sack? Yes. I was like, how did that happen? And he was like, oh, well, you know, it was a while that we were there, you know, waiting for this, this, and that, or whatever. So I talked to him about it, and he said that him and his girl are into, I don't want to. Like pain? Yes. I, I was like, I don't know the name of it. He did tell me that, but this was like six years ago. I don't I don't remember. But there was a name for it that they do things like that. Like, I'm sure you've seen before, there's girls. I don't know if they call them, like, dominatrix and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. they, like, stomp on people's balls and stuff, and the guys are into it. I'm like. That's so crazy. I am It good. would just, like like obliterate the whole ball like yeah it would just be like yeah so oh but with his he had said that the the nail was through the skin like she took a hammer and then like just through the skin i was like oh my god i would freak out like i don't some people y'all we're gonna do a full episode and i'm so sorry i i really do think that some yums should be yucked i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry get triggered all you want i don't give a fuck okay <laughs> Um, I have a question for you. Okay, sorry, not having to deal with my yuck or yum. My mine are boring this week. Um, would you? And this is for you guys too. Don't play. And you guys can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. I don't care. Um, would you swipe right on somebody who is, let's just say, like on a scale from one to ten, you're not really attracted to them? Of course, someone out there thinks this person's a ten, right? But we all have our. So in your eyes, someone who's about a four or a five, but they're a doctor. I have before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because there's this person that, like, matched with me, and I was like, why do I want to match? But I'm like, I'm not attracted. But then I was like, oh, my God, like, looking at his pictures and his yeah. bio. And I was like, he has his shit together. Yeah, well, do it. And then he sounds fun Just and adventurous. But I'm, like, looking, and I'm like, and he has a lot of pictures up. So I was like, okay, there's a lot to look at. But then I was like, I am not attracted. But... I feel like I've said this so many times if you guys watch our episodes. I just always go through this thing of, like, apps make you into such a shallow person. Because I swear. Well, I he's funny and yeah. generous and knows how to have a good time. And but not me. The first thing I was like, oh, he's a doctor. No, I have swipe from people like, that I oh. don't find attractive, but they have a career. But also, yes, also, you know, I've told you this before. Just last year or maybe two years ago, we had this conversation of I'm like, oh, he's a doctor. Swipe left. Like, you're not going to be into me. I'm a stupid ass. Like, I, I'm a high school dropout. You're not going to like me. Yeah, so, but, well, that's the problem that I, I don't like with apps, too, either, as I put stuff in my head and I make myself feel like no. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't like that because I guarantee if I was in person with them, I can get people to like me. I'm like, you know, we're likable people. We're funny. Um, I don't necessarily know if I'm a likable person. I would think. I think you you can be pleasant. You have a lot of knowledge. You can well, talk about a lot of things. No, I know, but I feel like when you really get to know me, I am kind of like me and my dark humor, and I am low key offensive, and I but you know what I I'm mean. I'm surprised with the type of men that appreciate my humor. I'm like, oh, I didn't think you would think that. But funny. okay. It's funny you say that because I really do feel like our humor is really accepted in the straight community. Our humor is not accepted in the gay community, bitch. Girl, there's it's some not. Gays that are there, as fuck. No, there isn't. I love those. But then there's those like, ones that are just like, oh my God, did you just make a fat joke? Yeah, did you just say the F slur? But there's like, a lot of men too who are soft as fuck. Like that is men. true. Oh. Like, we're just so, like, who, when I say things to them, I'm like, like a lot, for example, some of the guys there on the in the trip, they're manly men, manly men or whatever, but still, it's like they totally thought I was crazy and unhinged and just way too much at the because they're I would used say. to like a prim and proper and all the chicks there are like sissy, girl. sissy girls, and I'm all crazy loud, yeah, like, you know. So I was like, they're oh. like, is she trans? And I was like, y'all want a piece? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my yuck of the week is that I have been struggling since getting back from my cruise with food like i i've been doing so good and you know it yeah but girl this past week I, yeah. i'm just like i want to eat i'll eat this motherfucking couch <laughs> i want to eat every, i don't know why i've been so hungry i'm not kidding i have been <laughs> abnormally hungry oh to where God. i think i have a parasite in me like eating up everything in my oh, stomach or something so i don't know what it is but i'm really struggling and then i i just i i, I just can't get it in control right now no. which is Weird, because normally when I go on vacation, I'm really good at kicking it back into gear. And, like, I'll always take the day off after a vacation because I'm like, nah, I can't just jump right back into it. But now it's it's been a week now. 
It's been 10 days now. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I, but I think what it is, too, is because we went to those events, you know, and, like, it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. Anyways, mm -hmm. what's your yum? Why are you smiling <laughs> like that? Because, <laughs> okay, my yum is... Oh, because you met with car seat. <laughs> By the way, she literally hasn't told me anything about this because, well, first of all, it didn't slip my mind. Why is my back I know sweating? I did it. Are I, you hot? I'm hot as fuck right now. God damn. So funny you said that because I was like, I am hot. I'm like, and I'm I have to sweating my everywhere. And I'm hot. Oh, this is the material that we were talking about that, that gets a little stinky sick, stinky. But I brought my deodorant today. I was like, <laughs> Extra, oh, I well, I got perfumes and everything. Girl. Hold on. So l let me just say this because this is actually shocking news because I didn't tell obviously you we talk every damn day, right? So we be talking about everything. This is too much. Two months Mo ago? No, what Monday, the? Oh, Monday. I was like, two months? No, the past Monday. It was literally oh, past this Monday. Is it hasn't okay, even been okay. seven days yet. Okay. But um, she was supposed to meet with the guy that we call Car Seat on Monday for a taco Monday. I was like, bitch, make it a Tuesday. But anyways, um, she had said, oh, I've withheld information from you. And I said, oh, taco Monday. <laughs> and she just wrote back, ha. I was like, bitch, I didn't, I didn't forget about it. <laughs> so how was it? Ma'am. What? Why are you looking like that? By the it way, was... can we say why we call him car seat or no? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so we call him car He's seat. He's a freak. Because we sent, uh, we sent, what the fuck? He, he sent, sent her a video of him. In the driver's seat. In the driver's driving, seat. Driving. Yes. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, and then doing you know bah, what. Bah, yes. All over. Yes, I'm like, oh. While the car was driving, I seen um, out the window. It was a moving car. Yeah. So that's car seat. That's car seat. So yeah. how was, did you it, guys, did you guys have tacos? I mean, I know he... No, knew. we ended up... No, because he was like, are you hungry? And I wasn't, so we got acai bowls. Oh. Bitch, he fucked the dog shit out of me. Whoa, girl. I'm sorry, but couldn't you tell? Like, yeah, he... ma'am, he made me come four times. Oh. <laughs> I swear on everything I love. He fucked me like... I was like, oh, he's like... He, like he he's knew. like a little porn star. He, yes. Yeah. Uh, he good watched, for you. Yeah, in the car. In the car. Bitch, and you always talking shit about car stuff. In the car. I don't know why I find that fun. I, everyone oh, hates that. I'm like, girl, it's fun. Ma'am. And he had a big old dang going. Girl. Yeah. So have he you talked to him it? since? Yeah, bitch. He oh. texts me every day. He texts me a lot. Oh, really? He texts me a lot. Oh. That's the thing. Yeah. He texts me a lot. Like in the morning throughout the day. He's all, let me get some again, girl. I said, ma'am, you don't even got to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> so, bitch. I need to find someone like that to where I'm just like, okay, I know what it is, but, bitch, you know. Before, before he even put his inside me, I came twice. What? I swear to oh my, God. I, I, I'm like, I want to ask details, but it's probably too graphic for you to. Yeah. I'm all Patreon. <gasps> he knew what he was doing. We were supposed to get our doing. Patreon done. Oh, we were. Yeah, because then we could just let it all out, girl. What oh, the we fuck? still got to do that. Okay, we're, gonna, we're like so busy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. how well, okay, so this he's so man. Hot. He know how to make out, too. Oh, Yeah, he's a good looking God. guy. And then, well, I was telling her, I was like, girl, and you know. Y'all, I'm so sorry, but I got to have my homegirls back over here because I was like, girl, I said, go into it knowing what it is, knowing what it ain't, because this man would literally send her gifts and videos of full porn. on. He would send me a lot of XXX porn. videos. And I'm like, girl. He's so like, you... I want to do this to you. Yeah. So I feel like, you know what would be nice, though? And see, I would like to, you know, be with somebody like that who, like, you know what it is. But a lot of people, like, you've been down that road several times yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. They they feed you soup, you know, and tell yeah. you what you want to hear, and then you start. When you don't even ask, you start it. getting yeah. a little let on, and then you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to meet a consistent one like that, because where I'm like, okay, I don't want to have no feelings Man, for. I was like, oh, you're a little twenty nine year old fucking dangling girl, take it for a ride. Okay, she said oh, after after Pride today, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was like, let me not. I was like, I'm gonna be like thirsty. I'm gonna let him be like, oh, I want to see you. Yeah, you know, yeah. So I'm like, oh, well, ma'am, ma'am, be as thirsty as you want, girl, because true. I, look, I tell this to all my homegirls. I feel like when you know that you're going into something, looking to date somebody, then don't put out. But if you're going into it, yeah, like, just a hookup, then who cares? I don't, I don't expect like once since I already like did it with him. Like I was like, yeah, like I don't expect you to take me serious. If mm. you do, like I'm shocked. But I don't yeah. expect you to like. 
I, yeah. I know. Well, and then I think that there's people that enter your life for a specific reason, whether that be, say, for example, if you just, say, for example, you go on a date with somebody and you're like, okay, it's not there. I don't want to date you, but I like talking to you. Like, I like talking to yeah. you, but I just know it's never going to progress, right? Cool. That person's a friend, right? Mm -hmm. Or you meet somebody like him who is just kind of like, hey, like, I'm sexually attracted to you, but I know it'll never transpire into something more. Hey, that's what that's for. I feel like there's different types of people for different reasons yeah. that enter your life, you know? Yes. You and I just say, you got to learn to know what that reason is. Yeah. And then hone no, in on it. I, I like how your yum is X rated and my yum is I'm going to Disneyland on Monday. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm all, um, Loves it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really excited though because they came out with the Pixar Fest and then we're going to, mm. me and my brother are going to film. So we're going to film trying new so Pixar foods. Grubbing? Oh yeah. That's why I said, I was like, dude, like how am I getting back on my diet? Oh, like, well, not tomorrow. Girl, no, absolutely not no, tomorrow, no. girl. I'm a grub. To my tits are sweating it's the most. Hot in here today. It's hot today. It's hot today. It's a nice day out. It's a really I'm about nice to day. Go. Out. Yes, we are. So let's power through this episode. Because, let's get into our would you rather. <gasps> this might just be my best would you rather's ever because she just went to a wedding. So all of my would you rather's are wedding based. Okay, mine suck. Just you know. Well, I'm go ahead. You go first since you're suck. We'll mine, end on a bang. I wasn't prepared. This, this is too sweet girl. for me. Too sweet. The cherry one? It's okay, leaving a, it nice. a, a tart taste in my mouth. Okay. Speaking of the devil, Big Dick just texted me. Oh, What's his real name, though? Ivan. Aaron. Fuck, I was close. I already had two Ivans. Oh, okay, maybe that's yeah, why. I was like, yeah. I feel like an Ivan. Who the fuck is this? <clears throat> girl, I don't know who that is. Okay, well, girl. Hey, Angelica. Bitch, answer that shit later. We got, we got work to do. Would you rather? Are you ready? Um, clip my toenails or fingernails. I'm gonna go with toenails. Those need a little bit more work. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather give up social media or eat the same food every day for the rest of your life? <laughs> I thought they sucked. <laughs> Um, well, because my I want my job to be in social media. Like I don't want to get a real job, food. but then I love what food. Would you eat? Uh, if I had to eat the same food every day, like you mean three meals a day, girl? Or you have it as much as you like. Shrimp and rice, I guess. I don't fucking know. Shrimp rice. Ooh, ooh. I know what I would eat every day because it's healthy and it's delicious. Um, a bowl? Um, from Panda Express, the um, that shrimp. What's it called? The um, like Kung Pao shrimp. Yeah, yeah, Kung Pao shrimp <laughs> with um half okay. half rice and half veggies. That's what okay. I eat every day because at least it's healthy and I like it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think that I would because I don't want to get a real job. Yeah, I want social media to be my job, so I'll, I'll make the food work. <laughs> Even though that correlates with my travel channel is eating, obviously. Yeah. Well, but whatever, I'll take that because girl. Your turn. Um, would you rather aggressively make out with the person you walk down? First of all, when I wrote this, I thought you were walking down the okay, aisle I'll with. Have him in yes, mind. I'll so keep, keep that in mind. mind okay. okay. Would you rather aggressively make out with the person you were supposed to walk down the aisle with in front of everyone? Oh no. Or That's throw one of the girls' exes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or throw a wedding cake at the bride from your seat. <laughs> Why did I get why did I get an image of this and I was just laughing so hard because I could picture you at your seat that's far away from the bride and you get served cake and you just fucking throw it. Bitch. <laughs> and the videographers are recording it and Jelly's all sitting there at her table fucking chucking cake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But then also, uh, how unhinged would it be if you're walking down the aisle and you stop just to grab them and then just aggressively make Oh, in front make of out? everybody? Yes, I said in front oh, of everyone. Oh, no. I literally said down the aisle in front of everyone. <laughs> I'd rather throw cake. <laughs> At least I'm ruining your wedding less, right? I don't know. It depends upon... That's your friend. So do you think that she would like... I, that'd be like... At least that'd be not during the ceremony. <laughs> Yeah, it would like down the aisle part. Yeah, it it would be down the party. The reception part. part yeah. Reception, yeah. Oh, I thought you would just like kiss him and people. No, see girl, I said oh, aggressively no, make no, out, no, and I had an image in mind of full on, oh, like aggressive. That's no, why I put no. aggressive in there. No, so you'd no. rather throw cake at your friend on her wedding? Instead, of, I'm ruining your wedding if you're making out. I'm making out in the middle of your ceremony. You know what's so funny? I think that I would actually go with the make out. I swear, I really would. Cause I know me, and if I was the bride and you threw cake at me, I would, I would fight you. I would, I would literally but fight you're you. You're ruining my ceremony. I don't. I would rather you do that because I would think it's funny. You know what I mean? Me. I'm saying. I don't me. think she would. Think yeah. It's funny. That's why I said you know her more, obviously. So it's like. Okay. But wait, so you think that she would rather you throw cake at her than make out with someone? Probably. <laughs> you should ask her this. I would, now I, I want an answer, I'll, and I'll we'll update y'all. Okay, okay. Would you rather 
win the lottery but lose all your friends? Sign me up. <laughs> or, <laughs> bitch, I only got two friends anyways. The fuck? Or lose all your money but find your soulmate. Oh, that's a hard one too. Bitch, not you saying that these are <laughs> I was like, wait, these are actually your best I ones yet. I was rushing myself. Um Oh, I don't have much money to lose as of right now. But, True. But then are you saying that I could never make money? What if I meet my soulmate and my no, soulmate that got wasn't money? No, part of it, I guess. Oh, okay, so then I'll meet my soulmate then. Oh, really? Because I don't, I don't have... That's so cute. Ma'am, I don't even have fucking double digits in my motherfucking bank account, so... Yeah. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> okay, that's sweet. Uh, my next one, by the way, once again, they're all fucking wedding-based. <laughs> Would you rather stand on top of a table and scream, I object, I fucked the groom... But you really did not. Or would you rather really fuck the groom and only you and him know? Well, really fuck the groom and only me and him know. Oh, my God. I did us. To your friend? That, that's but they're going to believe you. But you later on could tell her, obviously, like, but girl, I just had to. No, they're... <laughs> You really would rather hook up with your friend's man How than to get on top of and- him. You're ruining their wedding. But you're ruining their fucking marriage. They're never going to (laughs) know. Oh, so you're okay with your man cheating on you as long as you don't know. No. So? So, Oh, no. I 100% would get on top of that. I swear to God. I would get on top of that table. You're ruining all her family. Her fucking grandmas are like 90 years old. But rather than hook up with my friend's man. At least I know I'm not into him at any way. And I'll just like, oh, this is like all we have to do. We have to. It's life yeah, or like death. Yeah, like I'm not attracted to you in any way, sir. <laughs> like, you know that. Don't play. Oh, my God. I thought that was good. I don't know why I left. That's hard. I know. I, hard. I'm telling you, I was like, this is my best one. I put effort into this, No, that's girl. hard. I was like, oh, my God. But I, could, I couldn't ruin somebody's wedding. Like, your whole wedding, everyone's going to, that's what they're going to remember for your wedding. Well, 100%, it's going to be memorable, and it is going to ruin the wedding. But I really do think, like, you're going to hook up with your friends, man, girl. I don't want to. I couldn't keep that secret inside. I literally oh, couldn't. I was like, I don't, I don't think I did. No, I was drunk. I don't remember. <laughs> Would you rather, this one's stupid, be super itchy all over or super sticky all over? Itchy. Forever. Itchy. Forever. Itchy. I hate being sticky. I feel sticky right now underneath my tits and I hate it. (laughs) Itchy, I'll just deal with whatever. No, especially because like the times that I've been to Florida and we went to Walt Disney World and Universal, Mm -hmm. I feel so gross because I get so sticky because the humidity and I sweat and it's just, ugh, I hate it. So itchy, 100%. I'll choose that for a lifetime. Mm. Oh my God, excuse me. Ooh, ew, I'm burping a burrito. Oh, it smells like an armpit when I burp. Oh, no, that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and my last one. Would you rather streak up and down the altar? <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch. I laughed out loud while writing this. No. Would you rather streak up and down the altar while slapping your kitty cat saying, which daddy wants a bite? Or fist fight the bride while she's saying her vows? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Could you imagine? I just, I just picture you butt naked, slapping that shit. Which daddy wants a bite? <laughs> or because while she's in the middle of her vows with the minister out. there, and he just starts swinging on her. Bitch. Oh my god! I swear to God, these are my best would you rather's. Because I swear to God on my brother, bitch, I was in bed writing these and I fucking laughed out loud because I just got an Slapping image. Your kitty! I literally wrote slapping your kitty cat while saying which daddy wants a bite. Oh my god. <laughs> that bitch, I shouldn't bite her. So you go streak up there and slap your kitty cat? Oh Who my wants a god. bite? <laughs> Could you imagine? I could have I would lose my mind, bitch. I would lose my mind. Oh Lord, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't fight her. Oh my god. At least it's let me embarrass myself, not you. Well, you're, hey, I like in all my would you rathers, you're ruining her, her <laughs> winning somehow. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so you're going to go with the streaking? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I would do on that one. I'm like, girl, yeah. I probably would just fight. Mm, that's <laughs> uh, so bad. Imagine, imagine like everyone. Yeah, at least I might get fucked. <laughs> or somebody. Be, I'm like, mm. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Y'all, who said that? They're all. <laughs> Some bitch is all with with his wife and shit. He's, oh, I'll hit that. <laughs> he takes the center flower arrangement. He's like, me, me. 
bitch. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Bitch, you know you would. <laughs> you know your ass would be, like, be like, Who said that? <laughs> Which one? Oh my god. Raise your hand. Come here. Come here. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Oh my god. Woo, that was hilarious. <laughs> I, oh my god, it's making me sweat more. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, that was Woo, so look at this crazy. line of sweat, girl. Oh, that was my stomach <laughs> hurts on that one. Hey, not what did I send you a screenshot today of Dallas? In, um, what do you call it? Oh. A Tinder? <laughs> oh, I thought it was cheese, but I can't tell the difference. No, no, he's on. I've met him on Tinder. <laughs> oh my god. I that made me, whoa. Woo, that hurt my cheeks, girl. My stomach hurts so bad. My stomach is cramping right now. Oh, that was Who funny. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, let's go ahead and get into oh. our hot topics, y'all. Which, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell from the title of the video, today is just pretty much hot topics because we are going to talk about Diddy at the end of this video. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was funny shit, dude. Anyways, first... I know you were gone, but have you been seeing all the rumors that J-Lo and Ben Affleck... Yeah, separated. Yeah, She's a bitch. Dude, I am so sorry, but I'm starting to see more... My mom was, like, going in on her talking so much shit. I was like, mm -hmm. Mom, aren't you a fan of hers? You went to her my mom went to her concert. No, she didn't. My mom took my dad for their, like, I, I forget which wedding anniversary, but just, like, within the past few years mm -hmm. to see J-Lo at Planet Hollywood. Dead ass. Okay. Yeah, because because okay. he likes J Lo. Oh my god. Yeah. How funny yeah. Is that? It's like his number one celebrity crush. When my dad was cool in his mind, he liked J Lo. Cool. When your dad was cool. So in now he's mind. not. Now he's all uncool. <laughs> he's uncool in his mind. You know. Yeah. He's he used to like J Lo. Yeah. He did. Well, she's she's pretty. She's and she talented. was like older. She's older, so she's like you know. Yeah, I think she's like fifty four. Mm -hmm. But but what do you have to say about that? Um, Ben Affleck. He's gonna go get a young bitch, not watch. He's you that guy. So? Yeah, he's that guy. Wasn't he fucking with Emily Radajowski's? Was he? I heard a lot of people ran through that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Don't know. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Um, but there was pictures of him too. Without actually, his ring. okay, but check this out. Actually, right before I was filming this, I was scrolling through TMZ, and then they actually had reported that they're like now he has his ring back on. Cause she, so. she seems like a bully bitch. She seems like she called him. It was like, don't you fucking embarrass me. Well, I'm not trying to be rude and I don't like to blame people here because obviously there are several things that happen behind closed doors. So we don't know and what goes on. Diddy. Girl. She, he ain't whooping her ass. You never know, girl. Oh, she just doesn't. She seems like she wouldn't let it happen. Well, haven't you seen the movie enough? She let it happen. Period. That's a good movie. That's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. It's a movie. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, my whole thing about this, and I, I look, I know I'm going to sound fucked up to some people because everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, you don't know. And, yes, we don't know what happens beyond closed doors. But why can't she keep a man? I'm just, I'm curious because at some point, don't you start to realize, bitch, you're the problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I'm mm -hmm. so sorry, but you have been Either with. Either you're choosing them wrong. Yeah. Or you're pu you're turning them wrong. Or you're, like, moving too fast. Like, has she, has, has she ever been single? No. Like, dude, she literally has been with person after person after. It's like, girl, maybe you need a little break to find yourself, mm -hmm. to figure out what you want. Stop trying to mold everyone into what you want. Because at the end of the day, I don't really think you could change people. You I think can't. I think that you can slightly influence people to make, you know, little changes yeah, and whatnot. But, but you can't people major. are at the core of who, people pretty much who they are when they're adults. Like, Absolutely. Especially, especially at that men. age. Especially man. And he's like 50 something. Yeah, so like he's like, just who he is. Yeah. But also, I, in my personal opinion, just my opinion, from what I've seen, obviously never met them. Don't even know them. She seems like a bitch. And he seems like an asshole. Mm -hmm. Like every picture I see him, he looks, looks irritated. Yes, he looks irritated. He looks bothered. Like he just looks so uh, you yeah, know. Yeah. So I'm like, how does that work? Mm, he's so fine. But oh, really, mm -hmm. I literally would rather fuck her than him. Dead ass. I'm not kidding. Mm, no, I think him. I, th I, I mean, he looks like lazy and chubby. Like I would have to fuck him. He's you think he's chubby? Him. Yeah. Bitch, then what the fuck am I a house? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like. No, maybe just a bus. <laughs> An apartment. <laughs> You're a house. Oh, sweetie. No, don't flatter yourself. You're a no, duplex. You're a studio. <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully they figure it out or not. I really not. don't give a fuck. I don't care. J-Lo, kiss my ass. I love you. For real. Mm, I wish. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I am so sorry, but all that laughing 
got like phlegm or something up in my throat, Dude, bitch. I was girl, I t I'm telling you my would you rathers. I was like, who girl? I thought I was. <gasps> <gasps> I forgot to tell you, bitch. What? I had two crazy dreams while you were gone. Hold uh -huh. on, we'll get back to the hot topics. Uh -huh. Girl, one. I had a fucking dream that I performed that killed Tony, and I <laughs> bombed, bitch. I was getting roasted, <laughs> and you know what was so funny? Uh, I was like, bitch, not me in my dream thinking she's a nice person, because this bitch is not nice. In my dream, you were sitting right in the front row, bitch, and you were just like, you looked so sad for me because I was doing horrible, and they started roasting the fuck out of me, and I was just standing there. I was, it was so <laughs> sad, bitch, and I literally saw you just sitting there in the front row, deadass. It was you. You're just sitting there like, it's okay. Yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> It was sad, bitch. I woke up a little sad. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, my now God. Now you performing. <laughs> I know. And then I had two dreams back to back because I woke up and then went back to sleep and it happened again. And you know that I told you I already had a dream about this motherfucking bitch. I had two dreams that I called a person. Yes. You know who? Yes. This one was so realistic. I swear to God, I you woke up and checked phone. my phone because I text. If you remember the other one that I had told you like a week ago that I had, I called because I ran into the person at the store. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. This was a full on drunk text, girl. And I vividly remember us being at Falcon and I sent a text talking shit out of nowhere. And then I woke up to text messages in my dream. Hey, oh, you were dreaming this. That I woke up. but So I really woke up in real in, life uh -huh. and checked my phone because I was like. <gasps> you woke up and you thought that was you waking I up. I blacked out mm -hmm. and I fucked sent messages oh, talking hardcore my God. shit yes i that one to me was so realistic because i swear to god in my dream i was in my actual bed and woke i woke up, up. Yeah. i woke up and i looked at my phone and everything and there was messages so when i really woke up you, i thought it happened panicking? dude i was panicking hardcore because i was like oh my god did i get that blacked out <laughs> girl <laughs> could you imagine though if i did that if you all if you all watched our very first episode you know who i'm talking about was that our first episode or second episode I was just, I don't remember. It was one of the first two. Mm -hmm. I know that for sure. The person that I stopped Damn, talking that's to a while crazy ago. That you woke up in your dream like that. I don't know why. Sometimes I wish that I was a girl just so I could beat that bitch's ass. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, did you want to share your crazy dream or no? No pressure. I don't remember. Oh, okay. She no. was like, I had a crazy dream too. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, which one? What was it, girl? Mm -mm. That wasn't a My dream. My reality is crazy enough. I yeah. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> It's almost four o'clock. Nope. Um, I don't know how long we've been recording for. Anyways, okay, another hot topic right here that I wanted to talk about because I was like, one thing about me, y'all, I hate a hypocrite. I swear to God. There, there was this quote that, and I don't know why it's like engraved in me, to hate hypocrites, not the quote, because I can't remember the fucking quote, but it's something along the lines of there's nothing worse, uh, or being a sinner is, or no, being a hypocrite is worse than being a sinner. Yeah. And I'm so, it's something along the lines of that shit, I forgot. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's how I feel, right? Well, bitch, Tom fucking Brady went on a podcast and he said that he would never do the roast again because it really hurt his family, his kids, and his close ones to him. And I have to say, I noticed it right away, but I went to the comments immediately of this. And that motherfucker made jokes about Kim Kardashian about leaving the kids with the dad. Mm -hmm. So how are you getting up here saying that on the These roast it affected your kids? Yes, but then you make a joke about Kim Kardashian leaving her kids with their crazy dad. Yeah. Like... Make but it make sense. Like, what do you mean you'll never do it again? Bitch, who does who gets roasted twice? Twice, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, Don't flatter yourself. Yeah, sir. He's 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 gonna be a commentator now for the NFL. Is he really? Mm -hmm. He's on uh, Fox with Michael Strahan. I wonder what his 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 um salary is gonna be, his contract because. I would just wouldn't imagine him to go and do that like right away. Like I would imagine maybe in like no, ten years no, down the road because he's still young, right? He's like forty five, no, forty six. Starting um. This season. Oh, my God. They will. I don't know. I'm so sorry, but that shit pissed me off. Don't get up on here talking about, like, oh, that really affected my kids, where you're over here making fun of Kim Kardashian and her fucking kids. Like, you you sound stupid. He like, don't do not do that. Yeah. That shit pissed me off, too. I was like, stop being a hypocrite, bitch. I think that with... Okay, I didn't watch the full podcast. I didn't. So, maybe he did later on say you he felt bad. No, the podcast. I didn't watch the full podcast. What? Oh, the one that was... That he was on where he said that it... I don't know. Some guy. It was like a, a sports guy, too. Oh, okay. I think it was an ex-NFL person who has a podcast now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so I didn't watch the full podcast to know if maybe somewhere down the lines he did say, oh, and I felt bad for making that joke for oh, Kim Kardashian. Okay. Maybe he did. I doubt it. But I doubt it, too, because I'm pretty sure somebody would have commented because a lot of people would be like, watch the full thing, he says. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, Because there was a lot of people commenting like, 
that's fucking hypocritical as fuck. Mm. You're saying this while making fun of her kids. Well, well, not fun in front of her kids, but her kids making dad. jokes about yeah about yeah. their situation. Um. Anyways, next, I don't. I have this on the list, but I don't even care to talk about it. Haley Bieber's pregnant. Okay, cool. Don't care. Whatever. I don't know why I put that on the list. Um. What? <laughs> I was like, why the fuck is that on there? I don't care. Um. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this. I have a lot to say about this. So recently, Post Malone's making headlines because he was on the, is it called AMCs? Is mm-hmm. that the name of the awards? Mm-hmm. He performed. CMAs? No, AMCs. Oh. CMAs passed a while ago. Oh, okay. He performed at, I think it's the AMCs, uh-huh. American Music Country. I don't, or fucking, what the fuck's it called? It just happened on Prime, Amazon Prime. You know what? Now I want to know the name of it because I'm like, bitch, I should know. Um, let me see. Is it called? What did I say it was called at AMC's? first? AMC. Oh. Isn't AMC the movie theater? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it is. Academy of Country Music. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um. Oh, ACM. Okay. ACM. Whatever. So, anyways, he performed there. So they were posting his performances, and so many people were commenting. I don't know if it was in the shade room or the neighborhood talk. One of the two, not TMZ. And a lot of people were commenting, this is such bullshit that he used hip hop as a stepping stone to now go ahead and get into country music. <laughs> I have so many thoughts about this. I'm like, where the fuck do I start? Okay. First of all, I wait, what is it called when Beyonce does it? Okay. So funny you say that. Cause I swear to God, I was like, so then if, if Beyonce did that, then call her out too, because she just did a country album. So what is it? What is it? She's done hip hop before too. And she's even rap. So what is it? Right. But also I wanted to say this too. And this is how, you know, people are so fucking stupid and they just talk just to talk and i wanted to come back comment back to somebody because dude their post had like ten thousand likes on it about post malone like oh he just used hip-hop or whatever like white iverson oh white hold on God. hold on i have a strong point about this white iverson was on his first motherfucking album right stony bitch what was on uh, the first album feeling whitney which is a country, country song. fucking mm-hmm. song i'm like if you go back to his roots Post Malone has never been in one genre. Never. What is I Fall Apart? That's hip hop? It's a fucking emo song. Um, that's, that's no, not a hip-hop no, because song. of the beat, I guess you consider it. To, you could, it could be like R and B. You said it. But like the beat of it, though, it's not. It's not emo. It's not emo, bro. You, you've listened so, to emo. Music, that's right? literally Beyonce. Yeah, go back to his first album, and I'm so sorry, but even through Post Malone's whole roots, it's like he even did EDM songs. He you know? always is done. Your bitch wanna kick your Jackie Chan. Whatever mood I'm in, I have an option with him. That's why everyone has always said Post Malone is a great artist because he makes pop music, country music, um, hip hop music, rap music. Like he does it all. And stop fucking putting People artists in, in two categories. And just like I said on the Beyonce episode, it's my not Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, I remember that forever. <laughs> Just like I said when we were talking about Beyonce's new album, I was like, hey, kudos to her. She wants to make a country album. I don't think I'm going to like it. And I didn't. I, cool. You know, more power to you because I do feel like artists shouldn't be put in a box. You want somebody. Well, pick- it's like telling you me, like you can only dress a certain way. Yeah, it's like, what the? F- or you can only have your hair a certain you way. Your only makeup, makeup a certain way. way. It's yeah. like, fucking stop putting people in a box. Those type of shoes. Yes. And I'm just like, damn. But it's like, so lame to say that when Beyonce literally yeah. did the exact same thing. Literally. Out of nowhere. Thing. At least he's been country. That's what I'm saying. I was like, go back to his first album. Like, he's people always had a little to complain. Hint. I'm just like, but know your shit first. I was about to comment back and be like, feeling Whitney's on his first album. And I'm like, girl, people that's country vibes. Friends. Anyways, okay, this is the last topic before we get into the main topic, and I, I'm going to be so honest with you. I I struggled with putting this on the list only because I have so many thoughts and opinions about this, and I really do feel like it will lead us down a path to where motherfuckers are going to sound off in the comments, and we're going to get hate, and people are going to fucking tell us, don't talk about this, and don't talk about that. But I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Once again, if you guys are new here... I want to talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about, okay? Even if I have no knowledge about it, even if I'm not educated about it, because the way I see it is a podcast is just, especially with two people, it's just a fucking conversation. And it's just talking about relevant things mm-hmm. that are happening. It doesn't mean that we are educated in everything. We don't have a fucking master's degree in knowing everything, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Cardi B. Oh, what you do? <clears throat> I agree with her. Cardi B uh, got onto. <clears throat> I don't well, know if it was it's live. I don't sure. know if it was a live or a chat space on on Twitter because she'd be doing that sometimes too. Because oh. I only heard the audio of it. I didn't see a video. I only okay. heard the audio, and she said that she's not voting because quote unquote she don't fuck with either one of them. And I am so. And everyone was pissed that she said that. They were like another one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Girl. Let her. Who cares? So people were, and people said that in our comments too when I had said I'm not even going to vote. I'm not voting. Yes. Okay. 
I am so sorry to say this, but I want to say in, in our, she, to my understanding, she lives in Atlanta or she has a, a place in Atlanta. I know she goes back and forth between New York and Atlanta. And I'm so sorry, but I feel like um, being in Atlanta specifically, it's kind of like, girl, that's a flip state. It can go red. It can go blue. Living in California, in case you guys do not know, we have the Electoral College. My vote is not going to matter. Yes, it does matter, obviously, when we're voting for things about Congress and when we're props. voting about props and mm -hmm. things like that. Absolutely, it does. And this is why I say I feel like if we're going to have the Electoral College, I feel like it should be a separate ballot for presidency and a separate ballot for all the props in Congress. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. I really do think so. Because what's the fucking point of me going out to vote who I want to vote for if it's not going to make a difference you know and it's so funny that people always complain about the electoral college but they had a, um, a problem or specifically when it comes down to trump right is because technically hillary clinton should have won because she had the most votes but he won because of the electoral college so it's like people just pick and choose what the fuck that they want mm -hmm. but my whole thing is i feel like at the end of the day what she said is a very realistic statement like if you don't fuck with either one of them why should you be forced, forced into this vote. yes pick the lesser of two evils no i don't want to pick an evil and straight up straight up how would people feel if they're because so many people were saying like no girl you need to vote no matter what how would they feel if she says you know what i'm gonna vote for trump they're gonna be pissed they would be triggered she would get Unfollowed, 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 unfollowed. Her. Yes, it would cancel her. But I'm sure if she says she's running for Biden, <clears throat> she'd get backlash either way. Like. I don't think she would get that much. Mm -hmm. Democrats have always been popular in the social celebrity world, celebrity world yeah. because they pay celebrities mm -hmm. everything. I'm like, girl, bye. You, girl, you can't win. You say something, you can't win. You don't say something, you can't win. Mm -hmm. You can't win with people on the internet. I'm just so sorry, but I just feel like at the end of the day, like people shouldn't be pressured into this shit. Yes, of course, voting. You should definitely vote, I feel like. But you should vote for a person you feel passionately for and that you really do believe in and that you think can win and yeah. whatnot you shouldn't just fucking vote for somebody just because oh i have to okay cardi like literally but anyways i just want to talk about that i know that was a real hot topic and a lot of people were talking shit about her and i'm so sorry but i do agree with her like if you're literally sitting there and you don't like both of the candidates then whatever it's all it's your right to vote but it's also your right to not vote you know like whatever get you a felony so you don't gotta worry about it give me a what a felony so you don't gotta worry about it oh people with felonies can't, they can't vote? vote no I did not know that. Yeah, you get, you lose your voting rights. Oh, bitch! No wonder why I can't vote. <laughs> I'm a I'm a felon. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into this last topic. How long have we been recording? I can't even. I don't see. know. But I have a major wedgie. Hold you on. have a major wedgie. Well, I'm I'm over here literally. This bitch literally got up off of camera to go pick her. Oh, girl, I see your whole coochie toe. My coochie toe. I mean, what she say? No, 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 no. I don't know why I was saying it in that tone, but I was like, if he like feet comes back on his camel toe. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant to say. My back is literally I don't sweating. know, but I think I want to go see Megan and Gorilla. Oh. So, June 21st. <laughs> don't make plans. Oh. Gorilla! It'll be fun. Gloria, hallelujah. She's making me, she is literally trying to have me cheat on, on my girl, Nikki. I'm so, Hallelujah. I'm so sorry, but like, why does there gotta be beef between the bitches? Like, I don't get I'll go it. To, I don't care. I'll go to see Nikki too. I just, you know, I like, I like Glorilla. You know that. I only know two of Glorilla songs. I don't care. It's gonna be a good time. She in love with Glow or whatever. Anyways, oh, the last topic. Duh. I remember what it was. Oh wait. Oh. Tell me, girl. Before we get to the hot topic, I have one other thing to say. Hmm. We have a Gypsy Rose update. <laughs> <laughs> reporting live <laughs> we're gonna go into a gypsy rose expert <laughs> i'm sorry but i'm fucking fascinated with gypsy rose yeah, bitch same. um this will be fast though the mother's day one she oh I, for, I didn't put that on the list mm. but oh my god she made a fucking mother's day post y'all she's crazy i was like bitch you could have just stayed I silent like she, I, honestly not she knew what the fuck she was take. doing i think she's fun <laughs> She's interesting. I think she's I interesting. Her. She got a little, she probably likes a little drink. Well, that was my update is that she's over here. Like, so last time we had talked about her, like going to Air One and like, you know, doing oh, that little test Lord. and all that. If we were rich, I would say let's go to Air One, but I'm not spending $23 on a smoothie. Yeah. Like that's literally double what we make on this podcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, girl, can't do that. Yeah. But if we ever became famous, we will be doing Air One smoothie yeah. reviews. But anyways, she's full on doing like little fucking makeup tutorials now. And on top of that too, she's doing outfits of the day. She is doing it all on her TikTok after literally just last month saying that she was quitting she social media. She doesn't makeup? Well, I don't know. She was doing her like... She was talking about her nose while doing a get ready with me. So, oh. yeah, she was doing her own makeup. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah. And then, also, she is now doing, and I am I told Jelly, we need to fucking film a TikTok on this. She Make sure you guys follow us on TikTok. She is doing gel hacks, which... Oh, my Lord. 
the way I want her on my fucking channel to do gel makeup hacks, like, yeah. if I had money in the bank, I'd be like, girl, I'll, I'll give you 20 grand. Come on yeah. to my fucking channel and teach me your gel hacks, mm -hmm. your gel makeup hacks. Just come sit with us. Bitch, can you imagine that fucking title of the video, Gel Makeup Hacks with Gypsy Rose? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Iconic. Gel Makeup Hacks with Gypsy Rose? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just think it would be iconic. But. Yeah, she's interesting for sure. Anyways, let's go to get into our last hot topic of the motherfucking day here. Ding, Diddy. Ding, ding. Diddy. The fucking bell. Um, there's a lot that I have to say about this in case you guys did not see. It has now come out. And if you guys have not watched since we were on my main channel, we talked about on my main channel, Diddy. And I was like, immediately, we first talked about the scenario when it first happened. And we were kind of like, mm, let's wait until we see some proof. And then the following fucking week, Proof came out that he settled out of court immediately. And I'm so sorry. But when you settle out of court, especially for $50 million and being part of the contract that you can't talk, it was like part of her. Like she basically took the $50 million. People want her to speak out right now. And she can't yeah. because she obviously signed that contract. Like he was like, I'm going to pay you this fucking well, money. But you're in a shut speaks out she could get sued it goes against their fucking mm -hmm. contract that I'm sure they have all types of lawyers mm -hmm. and everything configured in that. Um, Anyways, he ended up paying, and I'm so sorry, it's just my opinion, that if you settle out of court and you, you know, pay someone immediately, then I think you're guilty. I'm so sorry. He tried to put out a statement and say that basically it was, you know, no wrongdoing on his behalf. It was just basically easier for them to settle out of court, X, Y, and Z. But I'm like, nah, bitch, nah, bitch. Especially for being accused of something like that. Yes. As a man. She Well, all of the things that he she accused him of it's like wouldn't i'm so sorry if i knew that i didn't do it bitch i'm taking you to court i'm not admitting it we're yes we're fighting out of court like no i'm not doing that you yeah, know I'm it. i mean fighting in court sorry is what i meant to say not yeah, out of no court way, Jose. so anyways fast forward to now um a video came out obviously we're not gonna play it you guys can google it i just felt like low-key bitch it was gnarly Loki, it kind of like br brought me back to some motherfucking memories, girl. I'm all, mm -hmm. ooh, bitch, been there, done that. Same, same, ex ask your sister. She was there. Mm -hmm. I'm all, bitch, not it being the same scenario, bitch. Same scenario. What scared me the most is he ran through a hallway. Naked. In a towel. Like, the fact that your rage outtook your fucking common sense. So, like, Did you read you know? the full thing, though, that supposedly he was drunk? So he had initially socked her and gave her a black eye that day. And she was trying to leave. But she had, because he was tipsy, she waited until he fell asleep. And while he fell asleep, she left. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he fucking woke up to go run. Yes. Like, you don't know who's in the hallway. Yeah. You don't know who could have came out the elevator. Yes. Well, everyone was saying that on this footage, right, because it's from 2016, everyone's like, what the fuck? Why is this barely coming out it's being alleged that diddy paid the security staff x amount of dollars to get that footage of course he did. and that's why he didn't sweat to me he knew he was getting recorded in the hallway he yeah of course but he has money mm -hmm. he has money like that to and be like oh let me pay you he's like go go yeah girl what a fucking piece of shit mm. monster a loser fucking bitch yes he's this ass beat and especially too because i'm like okay to my kick her like that i was gonna bitch. why was i just gonna say that i was like look first of all 100 percent throwing her like that what the fuck but like you're kicking a girl two times while she's down Hard. she's little too little I'm like, fucking bastard. he's a piece of shit. And then yeah. also people started bringing up all these things, you know, how things start coming out of the woodworks. There is this guy. I don't know his name. I've seen him so many times. He's like a gay fashion. Fucking he's gay girl, mm -hmm. like gay. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that specifically because he was complimenting Cassie. I don't know if it was the Met Gala or some type of fashion event. Right. He was like, you look so great, blah, 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 blah. This motherfucker looks at Cassie and fucking grabs her and then literally taps on her fucking shoulder. Like not shoulder. Sorry, her waist. And, like, pulls her closer to him. I'm like, you're getting jealous over a gay man in the fashion world who is interviewing people and their fashion. You're getting jealous over that? Mm. Bitch, and Loki reminded me of some people. He's out of his mind. Girl. He's out of his fucking mind. I honestly feel like it's kind of crazy. Oh, um, I don't know if you had saw, but um, I don't know. Don't quote me on this. I don't know if it was Los Angeles County or whatever county of that this had happened in. Oh, they in. said that they can't do anything. About mm -hmm. it. Yep. Uh-huh. I mean, I mean, what we can't Statue of limitations. Yeah, yeah. What can we do about it? We can't do anything about it, but. Yeah. Girl, we already know his. And then I read something that he's so worried that more stuff's going to start coming out. And I'm like, of course. Like, so there's this whole conspiracy theory, too, that I'm so sorry, but I'm like so invested in. Mm -hmm. 
is that when they did the raiding of his house, apparently they're trying to look for these things on him to try to like get him for apparently while they were raiding all of his computers and all of this shit to try to find all of these things, they found this footage. And apparently they couldn't catch him doing anything wrong to incriminate him to put him in jail so they release this footage so they're like oh bitch we we don't have anything on you to actually arrest you we're gonna release this footage to still paint you in a bad light you mm. know so they put so it out where there it came from allegedly allegedly okay. allegedly right and Girl, fuck him. that's why supposedly more things are gonna come out but um just today you seen what his old assistant said that she's not surprised she said she never witnessed him doing hitting her but he she said that video didn't surprise her at all Dude, a lot of people... But you know who has been the number one fucking person to call this shit the fuck out since forever ago was Aubrey O'Day from Danity Kane? Mm, yeah, yeah, She yeah. has always been saying this and no one... And she had said openly too, she was like, so many people don't have my back on this. They have witnessed everything. And she had said, and I guess she was doing like an interview with somebody from TMZ. And she's like, everyone's so fucking scared to speak out because they know what he's capable of. And the interviewer's like, like what? And anything, she says, anything that you can imagine, anything you can imagine, she, he, they can make it happen. Like, oh, your, your brakes are cut or whatever like a car accident like you they can make it whatever so it just leaves so much you know to the mind and also i just want to briefly touch on this because ironically enough we talked about kamora lee simmons last week's episode there was the way i want to lose my mind about this what there was somebody making and it was pretty viral on fucking twitter Kamora Lee Simmons has been calling this out for x x amount of years we need to support support Kamora Lee Simmons i was like I went back to TMZ to rewatch the footage. I was like, am I fucking losing my mind? I know she talked about Diddy. Okay. Bitch, I went back to watch the footage and she did. She was like, oh, he's doing good. The girls are good. They were just over at the house. I watched their pets. The girls are great. Talking about Diddy. Oh, not in a bad way. She no, in a great she... way, in a positive way. Then what was she calling out? The person on Twitter tried to say that Kamora Lee Simmons had been trying to put Diddy on blast for years now. Not and so then much. I even Googled it and looked it up. And apparently, like, I guess she had said something bad about Diddy. And then she retracted it and apologized to him. So I'm like, I don't know if she's just scared to speak out. But also at the same time, too, she just spoke so positively of him. How about you just don't say anything? Though? Literally. Literally. She didn't have to talk to T. It was on the street while she was talking about her daughter dating the old man. Oh, my Yeah. God. So that's why I'm like, bitch, you didn't have to fucking talk about that whatsoever. Well, fuck him. He's a bitch monster. I'm so sorry, but I just feel like his form of punishment should be however much mm -hmm. he is bigger than Cassie, a man bigger than him, mm -hmm. should do the same motherfucking shit to him yeah. and beat the fuck out of him. Absolutely. I'm so sorry. Like, if you can't go to jail... Someone run up. I just think, though, it leads me to believe why are so many people so scared of him? Like, I know he's rich, but I don't think he's, he's like, like a monster, probably, bitch. No, I'm sure he is. But why is why are so many people scared of him? Because if everyone rallies up together, like, what the fuck can he really do? How much power does he hold? Like, that's what's blowing my mind, because in my head, I feel like Jay-Z is more powerful. I really do. I feel like Jay-Z is more rich. I feel like he's more popular. I feel Maybe, like he... I mean, 50 Cent don't give a fuck. Oh, 50 Cent put his ass on blast. He literally took a... The uh, lie detector says, Mari, read the results. Yep. That is a lie. Yep. He put it on blast. I, I, I say a good girl. Good for him. More people need to... And Call him out. Fuck him. Also, at That's the time so of us ridiculous. filming this this morning, ironically enough, Diddy came out and made a fucking statement. He posted it onto his Instagram. A new one? He, he put a video. You didn't see it? No. Literally today. What did he say? He said that this happened years ago and he's basically, I don't like, I don't know it word for word, oh, right? Oh, it happened years ago, so it doesn't count. He said that he sought professional help and he's changed so much since then. Yeah. Yeah. I love that his reputation is getting shitted on because he cares about it so much. Did I'm so sorry, but if I was him, I would have ran away. No, I would have ran away. Say anything. Yep. Shut the fuck up. Don't Just like. Go. Don't be in public. Just go, go, go. Yep. Get and they up. got pictures of him too already walking around public. He's gross ass. And, yep. Um, sir, you, when you change your name to Love, you're gross. He, what? He's Love. He doesn't. Call, if you go to his Instagram, it's Love, not Diddy. Oh my yeah. god. This motherfucker went through Puffy, P. No, Diddy, it's love. Diddy Pop. And then he named the daughter Papa love. Diddy. Remember how he randomly had a baby? Even though he was with the bitch from City Girls? He had a baby with some other bitch. Oh my god. And her name I is did, Love too. I did not know that. I did not know that. I might be he, tripping on that, but I know he refers to himself as Love. Oh my god. Anyways, and Diddy, like, you're what, a fucking you love piece DV? of shit. <laughs> what? He love what? DV. Oh, <laughs> you're stupid, bitch. Uh, it, but on, I guess when I was over there, I seen we seen screenshots of it, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And then when I got back, I watched the video, and I was like, 
Oh, this fool. Like literally. To kick somebody when they're on the floor. Even, even if it was like same gender, when somebody's on the floor and you kick them. Yeah. It's like, bro, come well, on. Well, I feel like no matter. Yeah, if it's the same gender or whatever it is, when you have a power dynamic, it's like me beating your ass yes. or me beating like Some, a little tiny guy. My dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, come Something on. Something about people who abuse people with their power is yep. really sick. Yeah. Really he sick. He gets off on it. I think it makes him feel powerful. Well, it's the same thing when we see like older people and younger people. We're like, oh, that's sick. Yeah. Yes, the power dynamic. Yes. What's different than this? Yep. You know what? This is just my Fuck conspiracy. Him. My the conspiracy, bitch. allegedly, my opinion, just my thoughts. I think that he had something done to like Tupac, honestly. And I think ever since then, he probably. Well, like, looking back now, look at what he's capable that's of. That's what I'm saying. I think that he had something done to Tupac, and I think ever since then, he low key like got away with it. He has and people this do this. And power trip just got bigger, bigger, yep. bigger, bigger. Yep, yep, yep. He's, he's he seems he definitely seems like the type of guy who's like I'm can't be touched. Yeah. Nobody yeah. can stop me. Yep. So if I want to go in a hallway in a fucking hotel lobby naked and kick my girlfriend on the floor while she's cl- I'm sure she screamed. Yeah. And I don't think twice about it. I I know this is gonna sound really fucked up, but hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I kind of hope that his kids see this. They are older. They're, oh, they're, right? they're, yeah. they're, they're like I eighteen, they, right? He's like Fuck yeah. Every they're all like teenagers with phone access i was like they're not little kids as far as my knowledge right and the reason why i'm saying that is just so they can realize what a fucking because i think it'll hurt him more that they realize what a fucking piece of shit their dad is because i know if i saw my dad do that girl anybody anybody doing that i'd be like fuck you yes i don't like if i if i saw my dad like Girl, come on, can you just imagine? And then imagine? it's like, because with him, it's like, you know damn well this isn't an isolated event. Look at all the shit he's mingled with. Yeah. This is not like a one time, well, oh my God, he was drunk. It's and never it. an isolated event if it happens in a public space, I'll tell you that. I tell Girl, you that. Girl, exactly. Uh, my whole thing is, is I'm so sorry. You be so brazen. Look, I'm a very rational person, and I do understand that sometimes emotions get the best of you. Especially when alcohol is involved. Especially when alcohol you know, is involved. Yes, something absolutely. Can go wrong. Things can happen, but the thing is, if it were you to happen in public, public, yes, where there's fucking cameras and you're shit. So bald. And you're naked. You yep. ran out naked. Girl, I would have ran out the fucking house naked if the shit was on fire. Yeah. Like what the yeah. fuck, yeah. girl? No, yeah, that's that that's what's so so scary for me. I was like this. This isn't first time behavior. Yeah. This is I'm very comfortable with B D V. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm sure he's done it before. But Fuck Diddy. We wanna fuck end Diddy. this episode on Fuck Diddy. We wish there was a fuck Diddy emoji, but if you guys leave those emojis down below, they're gonna call us racist. So do not put the F U and a black person emoji. No, that, that don't please. like don't do that. Please. So Just put a cotton, is there cotton candy? <laughs> co- yeah, put a cotton candy for our cotton I don't candy know if there is. If not, then just do a unicorn. To a unicorn, okay? <laughs> Leave it down below. Anyways, a rainbow, y- we're going to pride. Oh, yeah, a, rain- a rainbow and cotton candy. Okay, loves it. Yeah, so we will catch you guys in next week's episode. Wait, 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 wait. What? Remember we were talking about clouds and how I wanted to feel it? Yes. When we were Somebody fly- said that it weighs a ton. Well, no, we were flying oh. in the clouds, and I was on the window. Like, I could see, and we were like, the clouds were like right there. I could see them. Did you taste it? Yeah, almost. <laughs> but I was just, I remember I thought of that because I was like, we're like floating right in the clouds. And I could see, it was like, you know what? I could see them. It looked like a vapor. Yeah. 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 So but did like, you see, though, that somebody had said that clouds weigh like X amount of tons? They don't weigh tons. That's what I said, too. I was like, it's air. I'm confused. It's just, I just want to know, like, what makes them look texturized. Because I I'll be, I think like if we went like that, it'd be like nothing. That's what I would, like yeah. fog. Literally yeah. like fog. But, but it looks like. Legit cotton, you know? Like, yeah. So I, we were, I was on the flight. I was like, oh, look at the clouds. Not her seeing a cloud for the first time in the air. I, um, and her stopping the outroduction of this show. <laughs> leave a cloud emoji. <laughs> leave, leave a cotton candy. Leave a cloud. Leave, leave a, a unicorn. Rainbow. Leave a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. We will catch you guys in next week's episode. Peace out, Girl Scout.